it might interest you to study the journey that the righteous takes to perfection. Now, what is that journey? It is like in unto a child, like Jesus declares, that until you become a child, that it would be nearly impossible for you to enter the kingdom of God. Why do we have to become children? Simply because, just like a child tries to learn how to walk, it's amazing how they stumble and fall, but yet they pick themselves up again and continue trying. And what happens almost naturally is that eventually that that child would be able to walk. And this is the same thing that happens with a righteous man in the way of the righteous. Now, the just man falls seven times, but he gets up every time or eight times, depending on your translation. But then what you find in the path is that what makes that man just or what makes him righteous is not the fact that he does not fall, but because that every time he falls, there is an agency that is available for him to get up every time. So therefore, what makes the righteous righteous is not in the action they exhibit in the now, but in the way that they have chosen to live. The fact that you find yourself every now and then living less accurately that Christ had already proposed for you to do, that does not necessarily mean that you are not just or you are not righteous because even while we're yet seen as the Bible declares that Christ died but then in the pathway to becoming like him in the exact imprint and his exact image that he is we would definitely fall here and there that's why the agency of mercy has been made available by God to be able to help us navigate through the challenges and the frailties of becoming that at the point where we become we have gone past many hurdles and many struggles and be able to arrive at the full image of who Christ is.